What's good? What's good? We back. Triple P, Paul Pickett Podcast, aka the Common Sense Podcast, live on TikTok, and we're pre recording for YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram TV. Don't forget this podcast is sponsored by Promo Palace LLC at promopalace.biz. Need online market promotions for your product, your brand, or your music? Check out promopalace.biz. Also, if you're a dog lover, you're a cat lover, you're an animal lover, you're an animal rights activist, you like t-shirts or hoodies or sneakers, check out newlitter.com, New Litter Apparel. We got t-shirts, hoodies, and we got apparel for your dogs to wear as well. We got dog bandanas, and we got cat t-shirts as well because cats have litters as well. We just added cats recently. got about five new cat design t-shirts and more on the way. Also, for Shizzle, I got to shout out one of my favorite brands, Dizzle, Dizzle. Just add ice, dizzle on ice, dizzlebrand.com. Check them out. Do your dizzle, dizzlebrand.com. Don't forget the audio version of my podcast goes to Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Deezer, Castbox, uh, TuneIn, Player FM, um, iHeartRadio, Podcast Addict, and a bunch more. Um, let me get into a couple of these, uh, these scores. You got uh, NFL scores for the week, uh, I think it's seven it was. Let me pull up these uh, scores. Bear with me. Bear with me. Here we go. Um, It was actually, I think, week six. All right, so final scores was, oh, that's not it. It's week seven. All right, we got Broncos beat the Bron- uh, Browns beat the Broncos seventeen to fourteen. Panther, my Panthers got demolished by the Giants. That's why I said let's pump the brakes on the Panthers for a second because they got waxed by the Giants and the Giants are terrible. Patriots demolished the Jets fifty four to thirteen. Chiefs got beat by the Titans twenty seven to three. Looks like the Chiefs are coming back down to earth. People are starting to c- catch up with them and. Figure out Patrick Mahomes and their team a little bit more. Packers beat the uh, Washington football team 24 to 10. Packers are balling out like they were last year. Um, Falcons 30 to 28 over the Dolphins. Bengals 41 to 17 over the Ravens. Joe Burrow and the Bengals are officially here. Rams crushed um, the Lions 28 to 19. Troy's 0 7. Eagles lost to the Raiders, 22-33. Cardinals beat the Texans, 31-5. Cardinals are 7-0. They're looking pretty official right now. Cardinals are looking like the best team in the NFC right now. Um, Buccaneers demolished the Bears, 38-3. 49ers lost to the Colts, 30-18. And you had a bunch of teams on the bye week. Steelers, Bills, Chargers, Jaguars, Vikings, and Cowboys. And of course, the standings are pretty much the same as last week. You know, I mean, Arizona seven and zero, Rams six and one, top of the division. Green Bay top of the division six and one, Tampa Bay six and one, top of the division. I mean, those NFC North and NFC South are pretty much set. You know. Green Bay and Tampa Bay going to win those divisions. Then you're going to have a Arizona and the Rams fighting it out for the a- for the uh, NFC West. AFC South, I mean, Tennessee, looks like they could win this, but Colts are coming up on three, with three or four. Bills at four and two. Patriots three or four. Definitely Patriots are going to give the Bills somewhat of a fight for their uh, – Division Raiders are top of the division right now, 5-2. And I had to pick them to win the last game. Um, don't look like Ch- Chiefs might not even make the playoffs this year, man. I mean, it stays like this. The Chiefs ain't making the playoffs right now. It'd be Baltimore, Cincinnati, Vegas, Chargers, Bills, Titans. And that's it. You know? So, yeah, man. We get to these NBA scores. Charlotte beat Brooklyn 111 to 95. Orlando lost 110 to 
Oh, no, Orlando beat New York 110-104. Boston beat Houston Rockets 107-97. Um, Philly beat OKC 115-103. Golden State beat Sacramento 119-107. And Lakers for their first one of the season, 121-118 over to Memphis. Ja Morant put up 14. Ja Morant's going to be an all-star this year. He's balling out like crazy. Uh LaMelo Ball better be an all-star this year. If LaMelo Ball's not an all-star this year, then he's something's wrong. I mean, he's balling out. Right now, the team is 3-0. and LaMelo is averaging um, 22-5-6. and I'm about to get me my LaMelo Ball jersey here real soon. You know, I've I never really been supportive of an NBA player like that in a long time, man. But LaMelo Ball is definitely bringing a new light to Charlotte. And... Miles Bridges is balling out 32 points. I mean, he's averaging like 25 and 8 right now. Miles Bridges can keep this up. Whoo, Charlotte's going to look good, you know. Yeah, and the fact that, that Brooklyn lost, I mean, they got KD and Harden, and they just still lost. I mean, not looking good. Not looking good at all. And, um, Let's see. Let me look at a couple of these box scores real quick. Like, I, I want to see. I'm interested to see what Jalen Green did. Jalen Green hasn't been doing too well so far at the beginning of the season. Uh, what did he get this game? Oh, man. He put up 30 points this game. Yeah, Jalen Green put up 30 points. First two games, it was like 9-9. Nine and nine. Um Jalen Green, and once he gets going, uh, he's going to keep going, I think. I think he's really going to keep going once he gets going. But Jalen Green put up 30 in a loss. Christian Woods has been balling out pretty much this year for Houston. He's, he's averaging 22 and 10. He, he's doing what they paid him. He's put up his numbers. Uh, let's see what we got. Boston, Houston, Philly, OKC, Golden State. So. Let me rest and see this Sacramento. Oh, yeah, Carmelo Anthony put up 28 points off the bench for the Lakers in his third game. I think this is going to be a very interesting season, very interesting season. And Golden State, Wiggins put up 17, uh, Draymond 14, 22 for Jordan Poole, Curry with a 27, um, Harrison Barnes 24, 16 from Rashard Holmes, uh, De'Aaron Fox 20, 17 with a minus 11, and... Halliburton, I mean, like, I expected the Kings to be a lot better this year. You know, Davion Mitchell, Darian Fox, Tyrese Halliburton, um, and the veteran pieces they have. I, I expected them to be a lot better, man, but they're not. They're definitely not. And right now, I know it's early, but the standings, I mean, Chicago's 3-0, Charlotte's 3-0, Wizards are 2-0. Golden State's 3-0, Jazz 2-0, T-Wolves 2-0, Denver's 2-0. Um, but, yeah, a lot of this is going to change. Um, I'm not going to stay long on this podcast. I'm going to get into a little topic real quick. Um, the WNBA Parade. If anybody's seen the footage on the WNBA Parade, um, I don't know what to tell y'all, man. If, 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 if y'all are still delusional thinking that the WNBA should be as big as the NBA, I mean, y'all living in some little fairy tale world, some little imaginary made up fairy tale world that doesn't even exist. You should, the parade alone should tell you that there's not a lot of interest in women's sports. Because, first of all, y'all tell a lot of lies behind women's sports. Y'all, y'all be like, well, they're just as skilled. No, they're not. They can't shoot as good. Most of them can't dribble as good as the, the best dribbler. You show me a, woman, a female in, in the NBA that's dribbling like Kyrie and Steph Curry. I ain't seen one yet. So, y'all, that's a lie. You know, y'all, y'all act like they shoot as good. They don't shoot as good. They can't shoot as far, you know. Um, most of the women in the NBA can't even dunk. 
almost every person in the NBA can dunk. Almost 99, probably 99 percent of the NBA can dunk, and like 99 percent of the WNBA can't dunk. You know, they play with a smaller ball and a shorter three point line, and they already get offensive when people are talking about them lowering the goal so they could dunk. I mean, if they lower the goal so they could dunk, it would be a lot more exciting. And then, if you want to blame anybody for the WNBA's lack of fan base, you need to blame women. Because it's about 10 or 15% of the women on this planet that watch the WNBA. It's about 20% men, which is two times the percent of women. It's not up for men. It's not up to men to solely support a female sport. They already do. The WNBA is subsidizing the WNBA, kicking out $100 million a year. If it wasn't for the NBA kicking out $100 million a year, the WNBA would be done and over with already. It'd be a wrap. All the women would be playing overseas. It'd be a wrap. Now, part of the blame is that these women just don't know how to market their brand right. They don't know how to push their brand right. They make too many excuses for why their brand doesn't go right. I mean, they all want raises, and the league is not even profitable. Half of the teams in the league are not even making a profit. I never heard of a business that isn't making a profit, but... They're giving out raises. Fat chance. Not likely. You know what happens? It's some little fairy tale, imaginary, made up book. That's the problem, man. Y'all live in this delusional world where, the, the first of all, LeBron James is bigger than every female in the WNBA combined. But they're supposed to be making as much money as the men. One player in the league, I, Kevin Durant, is bigger than Steph Curry, is bigger than all the women in the whole WNBA combined. I could keep going down the list, man. LaMelo Ball is about to be bigger than all the women in the WNBA combined. Yes, yes, my Charlotte Hornets own LaMelo Ball is about to be bigger, you know. Um, there's just, there's a hand, there's at least a half a dozen players that are bigger than the WNBA combined, combined. Yes. At least a half a dozen, you know, that they're startup. Giannis Antetokounmpo is bigger than the WNBA combined, but y'all expect to, to get as much money as the NBA. First of all, y'all need to make as much money. And that had never happened. I hate to say it. WNBA would never make as much money as the NBA. It would never be as big as the NBA. Why? It's not even the same level. It's apples and oranges. Apples and oranges. You know? My recommendation? Lower the goal some. Lower the goal some. And that's a starter. That would be a starter. Lower the goal some. Another recommendation. These women need to work on their skills better. They need to work on their skill set a lot better. They're, I hate to say it, but as a whole, they're not as dedicated as NBA players. They're really not. I mean, there's role players in the NBA that put way more dedication and, and commitment into it than the whole WNBA combined, you know? So, yeah, man, there's, there's a lot of factors that go into this. They're not making a profit. They're not pushing the needle on social media platforms because that's the thing. All these chicks got social media platforms. What's the excuses that their social media platforms aren't as big as the other ones? You know, that their brand is not as big. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry, man. Y'all make too many excuses for the WNBA. 
And it goes to show you that a WNBA team wins and the par- there's nobody at the parade. There was zero people at the parade. Like, hardly nobody there, man. You only heard one person say, yay, one person. No, if there was any, I don't care if it's baseball, hockey, any male sport, any male pro sport, they win a championship, have a parade. There's going to be thousands of people out there. Thousands of people out there. So it just goes to show you the WNBA is delusional because they tell these all these lies. They say the competition level is the same. They're just as skilled, you know, this, that, and the third. No, all those are lies. They're not just a skill. The competition level, if the competition level was the same, then they'd be playing against men. But they're not. You know? And I know y'all get caught up in y'all's feelings when somebody starts telling the truth. They start telling facts. But you know what, man? I'm with Ben Shapiro on this. Facts over feelings, man. I'm not going to sit here and lie and, and change who I am and be a dishonest person just to make you feel better. This idea that I'm supposed to be dishonest is to make people feel better just so I don't hurt their feelings. You know what I think about that? It's horseshit. You know, if dishonest people want to be dishonest to, to make somebody's feelings feel better, hey, that's on them. But I'm an honest human being. I, I live an honest life. And I'd be damned if I'm going to sit there and lie just to make somebody feel better. The WNBA is never going to be what the NBA is. It is not the same competition level. That is a lie. They are not as skilled as much. That is a lie. They can't even dunk. They can't shoot threes as good. They can't dribble as good. They don't run an offense as good. They don't set picks as good. They don't rebound as good. They don't do nothing as good as nobody in the NBA. Stop it. You could take the best starters in the WNBA, and I'll take the worst bench players in the NBA, and I will put them up against the best starters in the WNBA, and I will demolish them. Demolish them, and I'll be the coach. You could take the best WNBA coach on the planet, and I'll be the coach of the NBA guys, and we would demolish them because I won't have to coach. They won't stand a chance. They can't even dunk. They won't even be able to get a rebound. They won't be able to defend. And we'll just clamp down defense, shut down every single one of them. They won't get a shot off. They won't get a rebound. Nothing. Nada. They won't even, I'll just put a full court press on. They won't even get the ball past the half court line in time. Not one single time. I guarantee it. Because y'all delusional, man. Y'all delusional with this men. And women are created equal. I don't whoever whoever came up with that that God created men and women equal. That is a horseshit of a lie, bogus, false, fairy tale, made up, imaginary BS. It's not real. It's not real, man. We are not the same. We are totally different. We think different. We act different. We have men, men can't get pregnant. Women can. You know, so many differences about us. You know, men are typically physically stronger without having to do any sit-ups or push-ups. Men are just typically stronger. You know, that is fact. We run faster. That we, We're just typically faster without having to work at being faster. We can jump higher without having to work at jumping higher. You know, but y'all want to search for this equality that's no two people on this planet, period, are equal. Like I say it before, if we were all equal, I'd be LeBron James. I'd be six foot nine, 260 pounds of pure muscle. But guess what? I'm five foot five, a buck 50, man. We're not all created equal. And where I can't play basketball as good as LeBron, you know, he's not, he can't set up ads as good as me. He can't run ads as good as me. 
you know. So, yeah, that's that. I mean, it just if any of y'all still thinking the WNBA should be big as the NBA, y'all need to get on YouTube. Y'all need to check out the WNBA championship parade for the Chicago Sky. Nobody's there. That should tell you all you need to know about the WNBA, man. And women's sports competing against men's sports. It's not. It's apples and oranges, man. You know, and in the men's basketball league, we're talking about we're talking about a hundred years, I think. Or no, my bad, seventy-five years. The NBA's been around. WNBA's been around what? Twenty-five years. And so somebody gets a 50-year head start and you're automatically supposed to catch up with them. Man, y'all live in such a fairy tale made up imaginary world, man. Y'all really do. When y'all sit here and think that somebody's got a 50-year head start and you're supposed to catch up with them. A business has a 50-year head start and you're just supposed to instantly catch up with them just because. Just because equality demands it. Quality, you know, you can bring out all the quality in the world. If the marketplace doesn't demand it, that's all that matters. In the business world, it's all about fan base, consumer base, the marketplace. You can bring in all the equality you want in the world. It isn't going to propel the WNBA to the heights of the NBA. Unless they start dunking and doing what the NBA does. They start hitting threes. They start dunking. They start rebounding. They start, I mean, I better see some some Miles Bridges dunks, some John Collins dunks, some early J.R. Smith dunks. If I ain't seeing that, what are we talking about here? You're not talking about the same thing. You're talking about apples and oranges, which ain't the same, man. Doesn't... Apples and oranges ain't equal. They're not exactly the same. One's a little sour, more sour than the other. If you didn't know, you know, so yeah, man. I just think y'all WNBA people that think that the WNBA should be as big as the NBA, y'all need to wake up, smell the Folgers, and step into the real world. Step out of your little bubble of your little fairy tale, imaginary, made up world that doesn't even exist in the real world because that's not how it works in the marketplace, in the consumer base. And if only 20% of men in the world and 10% of women are watching something, that ain't really enough for you to be at the top of anything. That means 70%, and my bad, 80% of the world don't give a rat's ass about the WNBA. 80% of the world don't give a rat's ass, but whose fault is that? Not men. It's not men's fault. I'll tell you that much. It's women's fault. If you want to blame somebody, you point the finger at your feminist women, the, the feminims, feminist, you point the fingers at them because two times percent of men are watching the WNBA. It shows women, because this is the thing. If if I ask a chick out to a date, right, let's just put common sense into this. Common sense, common knowledge, because if it, and anybody who thinks this is not common sense, common knowledge, and this isn't always going to be the answer nine times out of 10, you're dumber than a bag of bricks. If I ask, if I'm living in LA, right, and I ask a chick, Hey, hey, you wanna go out and you wanna go out uh to a LA Lakers game with me? Or do you wanna go out to a LA Sparks? Anybody that thinks she's gonna say LA Sparks is dumber than a bag of bricks. You're a complete moron. You're 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 stupid. You're an idiot. Cause ten times out of ten, she's taking a Lakers game over an LA Sparks game. And any other NBA game over the WNBA for that matter. If I I don't care who what woman it is, I ask on a date. If I say, let's go to the Lakers game, or do you want to go to a Sparks game? And she gonna look at me like I'm dumber than a bag of bricks for even suggesting that I go to a LA Sparks game over a Lakers game. I gotta be a complete moron. Who would do that but a an idiot? You gotta be an idiot. To go to a L.A. Sparks game over a L.A. Lakers game. 
Yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's go to a Phoenix Mercury game. We got tickets to a Phoenix Suns game and a Phoenix Mercury. Let's say screw the Phoenix Suns game and let's go to the Phoenix Mercury. Nobody's going to do that, man. But a jackass. Nobody's going to do that. If the woman ain't going to sit there and pick the Phoenix Mercury date over the Phoenix Suns, how are you going to sit there and blame men because the WNBA ain't where it is? Because that's what they blame. They blame men. They blame the NBA. They blame men. You know, not enough men are supporting. It's not our job to support or responsibility to support an all women sport. That's women's job. That's a women's responsibility. It's all women. It's it's for them. It's not for us. This ain't FUBU. This ain't for us by us right now. You know, that's for women, man. This idea that I'm supposed to just support something that's all women. Women don't support something that's all men. No. They say that's sexist. That's what most women to say when something's all men. That's sexist. You know? So, yeah, y'all y'all keep living in y'all fairy tale, imaginary worlds. I'm going to live in a real world where marketplaces, consumer base, and fan base dictates how big a business gets. And that's what the WNBA is. It's a business. You know? And... I mean, I could probably go and look up all the WNBA women. I mean, I bet you if I go and look up all the WNBA women's social media, they're probably lucky that any one of them has a million followers. Probably lucky that any one of them has a million followers. I mean, you got tons of basketball players that got millions of followers. You got bitch players that got millions of followers. Alex Caruso probably got millions of followers. Role player. You know? So, and that's another thing. You got to combine all the celebrity status of all these individual players up too. These women, they don't got, I don't, you don't even know half the women on the WNBA past one chick or two chicks. The two, one, one or two all-stars on the team. You don't even know the rest. In the NBA, you can know, they know, we know the bench players and everybody. Bench players are stars in the NBA. Bench players ain't stars in the WNBA. They are not stars in the WNBA. You know, but y'all want to live in this little fairy tale world where, you know, equality dictates a business. No, it doesn't. Consumer base does. Fan base does. That's what dictates how much money a business makes. You know. Once again, hit that like, hit that share, hit that comment. Want to thank y'all for tuning in. Paul Pickett Podcast. This is episode 68, a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. The Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and more. Um, don't forget the audio version goes to Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Deezer, CastBox, Stitcher. Tune in, iHeartRadio, Player FM, Podcast Addict, Podchaser, and more. Also, this podcast is sponsored by Promo Palace LLC at promopalace.biz. If you need online market promotions for your product, your brand, or your music, check out promopalace.biz. If you're a dog lover, a cat lover, you like t-shirts, hoodies, please check out New Litter Apparel at newlitter.com. Also, check out dizzlebrand.com. We got Dizzle. Step into the future. Do your Dizzle. Just add ice, Dizzle on ice. Dizzlebrand.com. Got recipes of different drinks and uh, merchandise as well. T-shirts and hoodies. Dizzle merchandise, T-shirts and hoodies. Once again, I'm your host, Paul Pickett. This is episode 68. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Peace and I'm out.